Good evening, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to another Diecast Emporium episode. Today, we're going to take a look at the Norscott Caterpillar lift truck or forklift lineup and uh, take a very brief look at each and every one of the models that have been released over the past 15 or so years and take a look at some of their functionality and we'll get started from there. So the first thing to note is all of these models are in 1 to 25 scale. So uh, they are a larger piece. First one we'll be taking a look at is the GC25K cat lift truck. This first appeared back in 1999, so the second year that Norscott had the cat license. Range of motion is pretty decent on the actual forklift mechanism, and it will raise up. But however, the rams, since they're so old, don't like to stay in that elevated position, so they kind of just drop back down. Looking from the front, the Forks are metal, and they are adjustable, as you can see there. Inside, black seat, some simple plastic replicated controls and a driver's wheel, and a nice Caterpillar logo there. There's a plastic grill on the back. And here you can really see that the tires can achieve a, a pretty tight turning radius. So a very nice first model for Norscout way back in 1998. Next up is the updated version. This is the GP25K. So, of course, this is GP as opposed to GC. And the one main difference that this updated version had that came out in 2001, um, you could put a propane tank on the back, which is included in the box. All you have to do is remove the stickers, and it'll sit right in there. Pretty much every other aspect, with the exception of the interior being gray and having the Caterpillar logo, um, is the same as the previous one. Again, adjustable forks. And this one goes up to quite a fair distance. I don't know if it can pick up the whole distance on camera, but uh, especially with how black it is with the lighting. But a pretty solid piece, considering its age. So, next up, is the Caterpillar P5000 lift truck. And this one already had the... Bear with me here for a second. This one already had the uh, propane tank on it, right here. Wheels. Pretty decent range of motion on this one, in the propane tank. Somewhat detailed. Also, you'll notice here for the first time, they have the lights on the rollover protection structure. Uh, however, the plastic lights on the front, right here and right over here, are not colored. And again, metal forks, plastic mechanism, and it will achieve around the same height. So there you go. Next is the updated version of this model. It's the still the Cat P5000, just now it's in the uh, Power Edge or Power Stripe logo, excuse me, as opposed to the old Caterpillar paint scheme. The yellow is slightly brighter. No new details at all, other than basically updating the paint finish. And there you go. The mechanism works a little bit better in terms of the actual forks. And again, as all of these are, the, uh, the two forks in the front are adjustable, and you can lean out and in which I guess some is better than none, but not to a very good angle. And next up after that is the CAT GP25N DP slash GPN range lift truck, which, uh, try saying that after you've had a few br brewskis, that's a mouthful. Uh, CAT25 right here, this is the older, you know, power, uh, power stripe logo, not the power edge. Again, propane tank. The steering mechanism on here is extremely loose, which leads me to believe that there's probably a part missing for this, um, which kind of sucks because I didn't really realize that until now. Updates to the operator compartment. Uh, no controls, but there is an orange uh, painted button here. I'm not really up to, uh, up to snuff on forklifts, so maybe you guys can tell me what purpose that serves. 
And also, they finally managed to add some silver paint to the lights up here. That adds some nice detail. And again, forward and backward movement. Pretty decent. The updated version of that is the Cat DP, not GP. It's the Cat DP 25N lift truck. Basically the same, only just the updated Cat graphics. Lights on the back, which look nice. Still the, still the decent range of steering. That's how it should be. If I would shut up for a second, you can actually hear it click into position. So that mechanism obviously isn't screwed up. And again, I'm not going to go over it. Same height and same functionality on the forklift mechanism. The penultimate machine that we'll be taking a look at, this is the CAT EP16PNT lift truck. Very nice little model. This is probably one of my uh, more favorites just because it's got a single wheel in the rear. Um, or I should say a double wheel in the rear, but it's linked. So, which is very cool. And this one will trace a shallow curve as well. Very nice little model. I'm assuming that's a light or a mirror of some kind, but they painted that. And also the actual forklift mechanism on this is stiff. So any pose you want to set, it will hold at any angle instead of dropping down like pretty much every single one of the other ones did. And last but certainly not least, this is the CAT NR16N reach truck. Uh, very different looking forklift. This is one you might find on the back of a uh, flatbed truck or maybe even find in one of your home improvement warehouses. Um, again, adjustable forks. And this one will go incredibly high, totally out of frame high. And again, I apologize about the lift height, but there you go. You can kind of see that there. But what's really cool is the actual detail where the operator would sit. This console folds up when it's not in service and folds down. There is a gray seat and some controls that are painted. If I can tilt it, you guys can see that. And up top is metal instead of plastic. So, overall, guys, uh, like I said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. One last thing I want to show you on this one. This is the one I was thinking about with the single wheel in the rear uh, that you just move around, and that's how the machine can trace a shallow curve and get around those tight warehouse aisles. Um, but overall, these are not very popular models, especially in the construction community. Um, but if you're into larger equipment or if you want a 1 to 25 scale forklift, uh, this is pretty much your options, basically. So, the first one was produced way over there in 1999. This one, the last one, was produced in 2011. So, it would be interesting to see if Diecast Masters puts the operators in the cab of any of these forklifts that they're going to be updating the castings from. But still in all, pretty solid models, and definitely priced accordingly, and not very expensive. So, as always, guys, thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.